What's going on YouTube? Back with another video. Long time no see. Hope everyone is doing well. Today I am actually going to be reviewing some floor mats for your Jeep Wrangler JL. And uh, before I even get started with that, I just want to say that when it comes to floor mats, I'm really big on WeatherTech floor mats. I have had WeatherTechs in probably the last, I'm going to guesstimate, 10 of my vehicles, um, probably even more than that. Uh, I, I, they're just my go-to floor mats. Um, but recently I've had some issues with, with WeatherTech and um, they messed up a couple of my orders and when it came to a return, uh, they wouldn't allow me to return it even though I was just outside of the return window policy. So anyway, uh, I said, you know what? Let me give another company a try. Um, I saw, I think one video on YouTube is the only one that I was able to find on this particular mat. It caught my attention, went on Amazon, saw the reviews, it got good reviews. So I said, I'll give it a try. And sure enough, they came in. I've uh, been having them about a week now. I'm not, not a week. Yeah, about a week now. And uh, they've been great. And the actual, um, the actual name of the mats or the name of the company is called 3W Accessories. I'm going to put this um, link to this item in the description below. And again, the packaging was very well. Uh, the rear front and the cargo mat all came in this big box. Um, the, the cargo mat was the only thing that was folded and even with the fold, it did not leave a permanent crease. So let's go check out the mats themselves. There's two ways you can actually buy this set. They have a set that actually comes with everything. Like that's the one I'm gonna put in the link. But they also sell just the front by themselves, the rear by themselves, and the cargo mat by themselves. Let's check out the mats. So I'm gonna actually gonna take the mats out because it's kind of dark in my garage right now and I'm gonna show you what they look like. They snap in with the two pieces that you would normally put in your JL um, on, your, on your front floor mats so they just actually snap in place like any other um, floor mat would but I'm gonna take them outside so you guys can get a better look at this so this is the actual mat for the front driver's side you can see it has the three W red lettering in the front which matches usually most of the interiors So I just wanted to show you what the mat looks like in front. Uh, this is the driver's side. You see the 3W logo in red. Um, it has the tire grip uh, texture to it. Um, this is rubber, but it's sturdy. It's not a flimsy, loose rubber. This actually is very, very sturdy. Uh, and I think it'll protect well. And the good thing that I also like about it is the fact that it's, its depth is good enough to actually hold water so I'm just gonna give you an example because sometimes I know I normally do have spills in my vehicle so I'm just gonna show you real quick what I mean if I had like a bottle of water that was to the side and actually fell over and spilt this is your normal size water bottle and you can see it holds all of that water very, very well. So nothing is going to leak over to the side or spill into the actual carpeted floor. Um, and this is what I like about it. Now, it does not have the water drain hole, but I actually do not want that. That's something that I actually like, that it covers that up. Because if it did, I wouldn't want it to have to go through this and then go through the carpet. Not the carpet, but the actual floor to go leak outside of the Jeep. I'd rather just take this out. Um, you know, well, I can't do it with the camera in one hand, but well, yes, I can't. Hold on, just to hold it like this, and then to be able to dump it as such with no problem. I think that is the the best and easiest way to actually do it. So it looks good. It actually has the two um, the two holes on the bottom that actually snap into place for the front. So that's the passenger side. I'm sorry that it's so dark in here. Actually gonna try to add some light to this with a flashlight just because it's kind of dark in my garage right now. But um, but yeah, you'll see the actual, I wanted to see the actual um, 
the lips of the li the liner I actually had to get a flashlight because it's just it's kind of dark in here you can see the tire tread design uh, again very good sturdy rubber uh, I think the depth is definitely good enough um, and then the actual coverage inside once it snaps in I think is great as well I'm just going to show you real quick how that actually happens and you hear the snap that's all it takes a little bit of pressure I uh, gotta make sure that this doesn't cover the gas pedal there you go and you can actually see the um, you know how how far up it goes on the sides uh, which I think it does a good enough job with that now some of the other brands probably would go a little bit further on the right side you know it's like a lot of the weather techs probably go up to you know probably up to here where that light actually is shining so a little bit higher up but again for the price of these and actually the design and just for the the quality of the materials I think this is a good price definitely a good mat that I would keep um, for a very long time uh, here is your rear uh, again you see the same tread um, the 3w logo in red this is all one piece it does cover the hold on I have a lot of it does cover the middle section as well so you'll see that piece right there and it just goes over it's it fits perfect snaps into place nothing is in the way there's no obstacles there's nothing in there that's going to um cause any problems a lot of people were saying that it you know something not a lot of people but i saw a few reviews i think that said it didn't fit right but in mine it fits absolutely perfect um and so that's the rear now let's look at the cargo area and in here you'll see the actual cargo mat now this is where it gets a little bit interesting this doesn't look as dark as the mats do it's still like black but it looks more like a dark charcoal dark ash gray rather than black actually you can see the black on the back of it I don't know if that's picking up well in the camera that's black this is more of a dark charcoal which actually it still matches everything it doesn't look bad in here at all but just want people to know that it's not a dark black like the front and rear mats are it still has the tire tread in the middle um, you can get it fitted for the subwoofer if you have it or without the subwoofer I have the subwoofer so I got the mat that is fitted for that um, the lips of the mat the liner actually does well along the uh, the sides as you can see in here um, it fits really good it has a little section right here cut out so the door can close easily and it's a perfect fit now you won't be able to use the tie downs that come underneath the uh, the mat um, but it does have these square indentures here where if you I guess you could cut those out if you wanted to I'm not going to do that but if you wanted to cut them out I guess you could with a um, with a knife or something like that to me it really doesn't matter uh, the mats it's just a mat like to me I just needed something to protect the back so I'm not as picky as the cargo mats as other people are so for me it does the job I think it does it well um, the material now this material is a little bit more soft um, it's it's still rugged though it still has a, a, a good texture to it it has grip so I don't think anything will slip around in here um, it has enough room if something were to spill you should be able to pull it out with no problem and it's light uh, but it's 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 not it's not a hard like mold like WeatherTech makes a lot of mats that are more like a hard plastic mold it's not that it's it, this one's a little bit more rubbery I guess you can say but actually that's what I want in the back uh, for protection I just need something to, to put down you know to keep sand and dirt and mud off the actual carpet and so yeah I think it does a good job with doing that so yeah guys that's pretty much it that is the 3w accessories floor mats for the Jeep JL um, I recommend them I think they're pretty cool for this whole set for the front rear and the cargo you're looking at about 200 bucks um, I have 
I think let me let me just check Amazon real quick what they're going for now. Okay, they're two oh they're two ten right now, but I think they have went down to two hundred. Yeah, because right now it says save fifteen dollars. So actually, that's one ninety five that you could get these for. Um, I haven't seen them that cheap. I think the cheapest I've seen them is two hundred. So keep checking to see if they go on sale. But for this price, for two hundred bucks to get all three of these, uh, I think is a is a really good deal. If I were doing WeatherTech, it would probably be $400, double this price for the mats. And yes, the WeatherTechs may be a little bit higher up. They may be a little bit more durable. But guess what? For half the price, hey, I'll give a new company a shot and, and give them a try and uh, and see how it goes. So yeah, these are, these are my recommendations for now, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. I'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.